Hi everybody, welcome to the craft that goes along with our Day in the Salt Marsh reading that we did. One of the characters that we visited in that story was the horseshoe crab. So today I am going to teach you guys how to make your very own horseshoe crab model. So the final product is going to look like this. You can see it's three-dimensional here. So that's going to be what we're working towards. I'm going to set that aside. So before we get started, you're going to need the template. Looks like this. It's included, posted on our website here. And on that template, you guys can see it says where to cut, where to fold, and you can cut along the dotted line there and along the black outline around here. And I'll show you guys how to do that. So you're gonna want this template. You're gonna need some tape or some glue or even staples. And you're going to need a pair of scissors and possibly some help from your parents. So there's a couple of different options that you have. One of which is you can cut out the pieces from this paper here onto another piece of paper. That's how I did it. So you can see I cut out the, the back part there. And I cut out the top part here and cut it where it said to cut, right along the sides there. And then what I did was because I don't have any brown paint, I decided to use this template to make a stencil. So I cut them into these. And then what I opted to do is I actually got some brown construction paper. So I'm using brown construction paper instead of painting the paper. However, you can use whatever color paper you want. You can use white paper and paint it, or you can use pink or purple or blue. You can make your horseshoe crab whatever color you would like. So what I did then is I actually set these down on my paper just like this here. And what you can do then is you can actually trace them onto your piece of paper. So I can put them right on here like this, right on here like this. I can trace them onto my sheet of paper here all the way around and I'm gonna go away all the way around both of them. And that's going to be coming out like this. So now that you've traced them using your stencil onto a piece of paper here, you've now got something that looks like this. You're now gonna take your scissors and you're gonna very carefully cut along the outline here. So while I'm cutting here, gives you guys a chance to catch up maybe with your tracing. You can also pause this video at any point and rewind it. You can pause it to see what I'm working on. And I'll also include step-by-step -step instructions with this video too. So make sure that when you're cutting, you're cutting very carefully. You wanna always make sure that we're very careful about our fingers. And you can have your parents or your family help you with this part as well. All right, so I've got my front of my horseshoe crab here, but remember I have to make cuts right here and right here, and that's what's going to help us make this a three-dimensional horseshoe crab. So you're going to cut there and you're going to cut right there but don't cut all the way through. You want to make sure that you only cut a part of it just like this. Now you guys can see on the stencil that there's two X's marked here and here. 
And those are gonna be important now because that's gonna tell us how to fold this. So you're going to take the edge of this piece right here and you're gonna put the point on the X. So I took it from here. You're gonna fold it over so that it's on the X, just like this. See how I'm covering, covering that X there? Then you're gonna take a piece of tape or your glue or staples. And on the underside, you guys can see, I'm going to put a piece of tape right there. I'm gonna fold it over. So now we have one side folded. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side here. I'm going to take the corner, fold it over to the X, take a piece of tape onto the underside and we're gonna tape it just like we did the other one. Just like this right here. And there we go, now we have the top part of our horseshoe crab done. And when you're taking the piece of tape, you can see I used a little bit too big of a piece on mine, but I use much smaller pieces here so you can see less of the tape. So we've got the front part of our horseshoe crab. So we can set that aside for a minute. Now we're gonna cut out the back piece. And this one takes a little bit longer to cut out because it's got those jagged edges. So sometimes what I find helps is to just cut along the side and make it a smaller piece of paper to work with. Especially if you have smaller hands, can make it easier. We can move our scraps into the recycling pile and we're gonna follow the outline here. So you guys can see as we're going along I'm cutting along the lines here. And don't worry if you can't follow the lines exactly because you can always flip it over so that you can't see the pen marks. So the pen marks are only on one side of the paper. So I've got mine part of the way cut out here. Now I can work on the other side. Again, be very careful when you're using scissors, of course. All right, so see how you can kind of see the pen marks on mine? I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna flip it over and then you have a nice clean one to work with. So I'm gonna move this into the scrap pile for my recycling a little bit later. Now we have both parts of our horseshoe crab and we have to figure out how to turn these into this. And the easiest way to do that, turn it over and you see that piece of tape there? So we're gonna turn this part upside down. We're gonna get a little piece of tape. We're gonna put these two together. So I'm gonna set it right here and you can move it around if you want to decide how long or how big or short you want your horseshoe crab. I'm gonna put mine right here. And I'm gonna use a little piece of tape there. And there you have it. You've just made your very own horseshoe crab. Horseshoe crabs are a really, really unique kind of animal. And a fun fact about them is that their blood is actually blue. So these guys are a really cool animal and now you have one of your very own. And you guys can see, I have two that can be friends. Thanks so much for tuning in guys and please check out our kids fun corner here at Loggerhead Marine Life Center.